What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be reviewing the American Express Platinum card and tell you guys why I think it should be in your arsenal of cards if you are over 524. For more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. But for now, let's go ahead and get into the video. What's up guys, it's Jay and welcome to Flashpoint. We're all about credit, credit cards, and other finance tips. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And comment down below if you have this card or if you're thinking about getting it. Uh, I really appreciate the comments. So as I mentioned, I'm going to be going over uh, the American Express Platinum card and why I think it should be a card that you use for your travel uh, purposes. So to start off, I'm going to preface that this card does come with a pretty hefty annual fee. It comes with a $550 annual fee. But if you take into account the credits that you receive with this card and all the perks and benefits of this card, it will essentially lower your annual fee year over year, no matter what, as long as you utilize these credits and uh, it will essentially drop that annual fee down to either zero or you know, maybe $50 at, at most. So for one, the Platinum card comes with a $200 airline fee credit, which most people find it really hard to use. But for most people, they typically like to buy uh, airline gift cards for their specific airline that they choose at the beginning of the year. American Airlines has gone away with it. Uh, as of recently, uh, I haven't seen any data points that have confirmed that uh, people are getting the airline fee credit for American Airlines anymore. So most people go with Southwest uh, or Delta. And with Southwest, I don't believe that there's any increments that you can purchase. I think you can do the full $200 uh, gift card with Southwest. Uh, do not quote me on that. I would do my research first if I were you. Uh, with Delta, most people will do it in $50 increments and that will trigger the $200 uh, airline fee credit so that way they get reimbursed back for that. And so that effectively drops your $550 annual fee down to $350. Next is the $200 Uber credit. So basically this is dispersed in $15 increments uh, over the course of the year, uh, every month. And for the month of December, I believe it goes up to $35 for the month of December, totaling it out to $200 in Uber credits. Obviously, if you're traveling, you're gonna use Uber at some point if you're not in your city. Uh, or if you go out and you're too drunk to drive, let's just say something like that happens, then you wanna take an Uber home, at least you'll get up to $15 every month in credits. So uh, that's, a, that's a pretty solid perk, uh, in my opinion. Uh, as long as you use it, like I said, so that's going to drop your annual fee down another $200. And so that will effectively make your annual fee a $150 annual fee. Now, let's go ahead and get into the third perk that is with this card. And this is the $100 Saks Fifth Avenue statement credit that you get as well. So this is dispersed basically first six months of the year and then to the second six months of the year at $50 increment. So that drops your annual fee down to $50 basically. But if this is your first year to get the card, you can essentially get paid $50 more on top of that. And I'll tell you why, because this card also comes with a TSA pre-check perk for an application, if you apply for a TSA pre-check, then you will get reimbursed for that $85 application fee that you will have to pay for. And the other perk to this is that you can do either TSA pre-check or global entry. And in my opinion, the global entry might be the way to go because it is a $100 uh, statement credit, essentially. And so in order to get the maximum value for at least the first year, I would apply for global entry um, because the global entry includes TSA pre-check. And so I would, uh, if you're not familiar with what global entry is, it's basically, um, you know, it allows you to get through customs uh, a lot faster when you're traveling abroad. and. 
Uh, TSA PreCheck allows you to get through security at the airports a lot faster. So you won't have to take off your shoes and belt and go through the metal detectors and everything like that. You will be considered a known traveler and um, basically you'll be able to get through everything a lot easier. So it's way more convenient to do the global entry because it, ha it gives you the perks of two things and you're still getting the $100 reimbursed after you, uh, you know, pay for that application. Uh, moving forward though, that global entry application is only every four years. So you won't be able to effectively get it for yourself every year, but what you could do is if you have a friend who's willing to pay you a hundred bucks, you could swipe your card for, you know, you could pay for their application or you could gift it to a family member for let's say like Christmas or something like that. Like, hey, here you go. I'm gonna give you a global entry uh, application for free. Here's, you know, I love you, mwah, don't ever ask me for anything again, you know? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So, uh, yeah, so that's another benefit to this card. There are two solid benefits that I think pretty good in my opinion, and most people don't know this. Obviously, if you are an American Express Platinum Card holder, or if you're in the points and miles game, most people know about this uh, benefit, and that is uh, gold status with Marriott and gold status with Hilton. And if you think about it, most people say, oh, you know, I don't really see that as a benefit. Um, well, if you stay at either one of those properties, you have the potential to get upgrades uh, for your rooms when they're available. Um, with the Marriott uh, Hotel, you have the availability to possibly do a late checkout. So something after 2 p.m. Um, and if you're with Hilton, along with that room upgrade, you also, can get a complimentary breakfast. And so you think about it, if you're, if you're staying at a Hilton and you have four people with you, that's gonna be around $25 if you plan to eat breakfast at the hotel. So that's essentially $100 every time. If, if you have, let's say, hypothetically, you have four people with you, that's essentially gonna be $100 every time you stay at a Hilton hotel just for breakfast. And that can be every day that you stay there. So you think about it, that's pretty good value because you know you, you have a four or five night stay at a Hilton and you're getting breakfast for four people valued at, a, a, at about $100 total. Um, that's $400 just for that one stay that you're getting off of that off of that benefit of having you know Hilton Gold status, and so Hilton Gold status is barely under the Hilton Diamond status, and Hilton Diamond status is the top tier status for Hilton. Another perk for uh, this card is that you can get Centurion Lounge access, which is only made available to the Platinum card holders and the Centurion card holders, which is the black card, the one that everybody raps about, right? Black card. Um, so yeah, so those card members are only allowed access to this lounge and basically the Centurion Lounge is whenever you go to an airport that has a Centurion Lounge, you can go to the lounge, you can get food and beverage for free before your flight and in, you know, that's a reason to get to the, uh, to get to the airport early so that way you're kind of full before your flight and you just kind of get to chill and relax. Um, it also comes with priority pass and a lot of people may say since American Express is dropping the priority pass basically voucher for you know in case like you're not able to eat there they are getting rid of that it's around $28 I believe so that's a small portion of the benefits that you get just from having this card uh, you will get 5x on travel you will get 5x on uh, hotels booked through Amex travel I believe you get so many benefits with this card. I've been asked before if I have this card, and no, I do not, but I am planning on getting it once I finish my 524 round and I get my Barclay cards and things like that. Um, I will have this card eventually in my arsenal of cards for travel purposes. Also, it comes with a 60,000 point bonus, and if you go to the points guy, website then he values uh, American Express points at two cents per point and 60,000 points can essentially lead up to twelve hundred dollars in value on your first year just from that bonus and then if you add in the credits from that card then you're obviously getting well over fifteen hundred dollars with this with this credit card in your first year and you can easily get well over a thousand dollars every year uh, for having the card. So in my opinion, this would be a keeper card. Uh, people absolutely love this card as long as you are utilizing the bonus categories 
and you are utilizing the credits, you can get way more value out of this card than what the $550 annual fee actually is. So make sure that you guys, you have your credit up. No, one thing also, it is a charge card. So um, you can, you usually can get away with having a higher spending limit with this card, but I wouldn't suggest it if you're someone who is just trying to get the card for the benefits and for the sign up bonus and you don't really spend much uh, in general, uh, I wouldn't recommend that you hold a balance on this card because it is a charge card so the balance is generally supposed to be paid off every single month. Otherwise you're going to pay like some crazy amount in, uh, in interest and that's not what we're trying to do here. You want to make sure that you pay zero interest on every single card that you're able to get a bonus from. Uh, and make sure that you guys also know that you can utilize the credit cards that have the zero introductory uh, interest rates for like a certain period of time. There are cards like that, um, like 15 months, 12 months, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of great cards out there, but this card is amazing in my opinion. So if you're able to get this card, I would suggest that you guys go ahead and get it as long as you are outside of your 524 mark and if you don't know what 524 is i will link a video in the cards that explains 524 but just as a brief overview of it it is essentially that if you have been approved for five cards or more in the last two years then you are basically not going to be eligible to get approved for any more chase credit cards and Chase credit cards essentially have some of the best signup bonuses, especially on their business side. Um, so the goal is to try to get as many Chase cards as you possibly can first, and then once you run out 524, then you go after other cards, you know, um, that you could potentially get bonuses from. So make sure you guys understand that but down in the long run of your application strategy i would suggest that you guys look ahead and strategize so that way you can eventually get this card but make sure that you target those chase cards first in my opinion currently i have four chase cards and so i'm trying to get at least three more before i'm done i'm currently sitting at 424 um and so I'm going to apply for some business cards and then apply for another personal card to help boost my credit score back up after taking these hits from these business cards. So, uh, yeah, that'll conclude today's video, guys. For more video updates, hit that subscribe button. If you found this information to be helpful, give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Drop a comment down below to let me know what you guys think about this American Express Platinum card. I think it's freaking amazing. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell notifications down the bottom left corner so that way you guys can stay up to date for whenever I drop my next video. Be a good person, be safe, be smart, and remember, credit is your life. Peace.